All right, guys, welcome back to The Last of Us. Uh, we got a little bit of a firefight coming up shortly. So, you want to make sure that all your guns are fully loaded. And, of course, make sure you have as many crafted items as possible. There's a shift door here that will give you your last chance to... No, I want that. To pretty much upgrade anything that you can. Or, no, not upgrade, but craft anything that you can find. Oh, gotta stop dropping that thing. So now basically all you have to do is make it through this uh, big part over here. If you can make it to the end of that hallway, that's basically the end of this chapter. And, well, not necessarily the end of the chapter, but the point where you're actually 100% safe and in the clear. Because if you can get through all these guys, there's absolutely no way you can fuck this up. Like, or end up dying. It's impossible. So yeah, just take your time. I'm going to try some guerrilla tactics right now. Alright, so he's down. We have one, two, three, I think five people. Five guys in this area. Where'd that guy go? Okay. Now, like I said, if you can get close enough to these guys, just pull out your shotgun or your any um, flamethrower fuel you'll have left, and you should be able to dominate this section pretty easily. Oh fuck, what's he doing? Okay. Might just try to bomb this guy. Uh, okay, I could probably. Alright, that guy's in the. Let's get this guy here. Oh, looks like I took out two of them. Okay, so there's that guy down, and there should just be one more person. Or not. Regardless, I'm gonna continue. And that's probably the most difficult part of this mission, of uh, this chapter. Alright, so let's continue. Well, what's in here? Uh, recording, it's not really going to matter, I missed so many collectibles, it's not even worth checking out. But if you step in here, there's a whole bunch of people in this room. Luckily, Jesus. they're all doctors. What are you doing? So just fucking waste them. And then pick up Ellie. I got you. I got you. Oh shit. And from this point on, you're basically just running and avoiding the guards. So just 
keep running. Whenever you see a guard or like a flashlight coming your way, just take an alternate route. Like see that guy's there, you go right. Just continue around, keep running. Like it's not like they actually shoot at you. They're basically just chasing you. And there we go. That is essentially the end of this chapter. Now we have one little cutscene. You can't save her. Marlene's gonna try and stop us. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she want. You know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Okay, so now Joel is heading back to Tommy's house or Tommy's compound yeah yeah he's not alone just take it easy drugs are still wearing Fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Billy. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. They ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... S they've stopped looking for a cure. Unfortunately, like I said in a previous video, there's no actual proof if the uh, the vaccine was actually true to fix the problem, or if it was it was all just suspicion. Because unfortunately, they never actually got the chance to administer to take off to take the the brain tissue from Ellie and administer an antidote with that. Please. You just come after her. Marlene gets what she wants she deserves. I definitely agree with that scene. And so we finally come to the closing scene of The Last of Us. It's uh kind of hard to fail <laughs> like we're walking. if you can fail this part of the game you're probably shouldn't be playing this game if, if you've gotten this far you can't fail anymore yes. so considering we're in our final stages I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the game So basically, Joel and Ellie are headed back to Tommy's compound. Joel has told Ellie that the Fireflies couldn't administer a cure and that she's not the only one who's immune. So she, he basically lied to her about everything that happened in the, the last scene. 
so it's a little bit further now. Ellie's kind of like I guess dis disappointed, but she doesn't actually know the truth. Now this upcoming cutscene right here, I don't know, pretty much to me screams cliffhanger for a sequel. Wait. But um, Naughty Dog has not confirmed or denied it. So let's take a listen. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, so she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Well, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And no matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right Swear now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. All right, guys, that is officially the end of The Last of Us. So, like, what are my thoughts on the game? Well, I think it's a very good story. It has a very good story. It's very uh, rich in character development. I, the first time I played this game, I went from not really liking Joel to actually liking Joel. And the same with Ellie. It could, it really needs a sequel though. It really does. But uh, anyway guys, I will um, thank you guys for watching, and I will join me again for my next Let's Play, which uh, should be up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that.